the Nigerian lawmakers have budgeted an addition, additional 30 billion naira for the renovation of the National Assembly complex in the 2024 appropriation bill. Thank you very much for joining us. It is Serious Matters here at ONIP TV. My name is Olukunle Browns. Please do share videos. All right, drop a comment, make them simple, and say, Well, after you have heard this one, just thank me later. Don't bother uh, sending me, you know, anything for giving you this particular one. Uh, you see, when I saw this news, it looked to me like uh, we're in a country where leaders are just doing their own, the people are just going their own way, and then the people are suffering for what the leaders are doing and all of that. You know, in a time when even if it took the legislators to have their meeting under the tree, they should have they should be able to pay that sacrifice. But then it's all about their own comfort and everything, while the people can suffer and continue to pay the sacrifices. You know, my, my question, you know, since I saw this news is are you telling me that as old as the complex be? I mean, even if you now renovate it with one trillion naira, will it generate anything for us as IGR and all of that? Will it increase our GDP and all of that? Will it, um, you know, will it elevate poverty in any way? Uh, so, but then I also want to wonder, I'm also wondering what are the things that are being done? Yes, somebody did an analysis and said it's not just about renovation. When we talk about renovation, the truth needs to be told that other structures are being put up. But the point is that the time when these things are being done, is it the right time when these things are supposed to be done? When Nigerians are under the burden of first of all, first subsidy removal and several other things, prices on the, on the high, you know, of, 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 of goods and services uh, on the rise and all of that. And nothing is being done about that. Well, the 30 billion they marked for the renovation of the building was part of the 344.3.85 billion naira budgeted for the National Assembly after they raised the allocation from 197 to 197.93 billion naira. Uh, the 344.85 billion naira signed by President Bola Tinobu on January 1st is the highest ever allocated to legislature. Hmm. Legislature. Well, now the, that adds to the legislature, I beg your pardon. The additional 30 billion naira brings to 60 billion naira the amount being spent on, spent on the renovation of the National Assembly complex. The Senate President, Gautwe Apabio, who is also the President of the National Assembly, had in June or on June 30th, 2023, declared that President Tinubu uh, would in December last year inaugurate the 30 billion naira different, you know, ongoing projects at the uh, National Assembly. Apabio said the entire complex of the National Assembly is like a construction site due to ongoing general renovation works and fresh projects which um, would, on completion, be inaugurated by President Bola Ahmed Sinobu in December 2023. That's last year. While the renovation, the renovation was initially built to be completed and delivered in August 2022, uh, but the delivery was, I mean, the delivery date was uh, later moved to January 2023 and then December 2023. As of January 2024, the renovation of the Annex uh, National Assembly Complex has, is yet to be completed with skeletal works ongoing on the premises. Uh, correspondents who was at the site on Saturday observed that the contractor, you know, visible construction company was still at work. Uh, an official of the construction firm who spoke uh, to our correspondent said, and on, on the, uh, on anonymous, anonymously, said, people keep blaming us for not finishing the project, but those with the money have refused to release <laughs> The money to us. How are we expected to finish the work without money? If money is released to our company, then the project will be done in no time. Earlier this, uh, earlier during uh, oversight by the uh, visit by the Senate Committee on Federal Capital Territory, the site engineer Taju Denolani Bekun blamed fluctuations in the value of naira to the United States dollar for the delay, even in building our own uh, stuff. Well. However, the head public, you know, relations federal capital development agency Richard Ndu in June disclosed that 19 billion had been paid to the construction company. He said, "I would like to refer you to the to the to a recent press briefing by Executive Secretary Engineer Shewu Adi Ahmad just about three weeks ago, where disclosed that so far about 19 billion naira has been expended out." of the 30 billion naira being the cost of the contract awarded in 2021 
to Mercer Visible Construction Nigeria Limited with a completion date of August 2023. This project, when completed, will bring the complex to the status of a world class parliamentary building that will ensure both the comfort, the convenience, and you know, flunk I mean, functionality of the complex under Adam added. Well, um, uh, like I said. I think the timing was just is just the wrong is just what I see has been wrong, and also spending so much, we're spending so much on structures, while the people, the people who are supposed to own these structures or this structure in court are dying of hunger. It's sad. It's sad. I, I want to leave the platform for you so that you feel free. Drop your comment, make them simple uh, and, and civil. Let us know what your opinions are. You see, the point is, yes, I, I have noticed that Nigerians just talk. We just talk. We don't, nothing happens afterwards. The subsidy is gone. We just talk. Nothing happens. Yeah, I mean, and that's just the truth. Nothing happens. But do you see, let it be in the record that you said something. Uh, let it be in the records and uh, because even if these people does not work with it our children are coming we are still there i mean we're still young and so we're still here so we're going to we're going to go through the archives you know and pick out things so drop your comment make them simple and say well, let us know what your opinions are is it the right thing to do at this time to pay so much you know when these things should this all this money could have been put together to i mean why did you remove first subsidy for instance because you see, you see that first subsidy thing. It affected, it affects every single person in Nigeria, except for the political office holders who just have ways of getting their food. They don't know how much it costs to fill their vehicles and all of that. And so, please, just feel free, drop your comment, make them simple and civil. Let us know what your opinions are on this particular one. This is serious matters. Keep watching.